Hi guys, this is Always back with another tutorial of AutoCAD 2016 Essential Training. In this video, I'm going to talk about performing Boolean operations on region. So let's get started. I'm going to go and draw a circle, size doesn't matter, and then I will draw a rectangle next to it. And let's draw a ellipse. About that. And then I'm going to draw a pentagon as well. Draw a pentagon about that and now at these points these objects are defined along their perimeters so now let's go and convert these objects to regions go to your draw panel select the region command select these objects and then press spacebar and now on the command line as you can see four regions created a region only been created on a on an object which has the boundary. So let's say I will draw a line about one, two, three points, and I don't close this line so it does not have a boundary. So what if I perform a region command on this line? And so as you can see that it's telling me that zero region created. So the regions command can only be applied on an object which has the boundary. So let's go and delete this object. So now we can use boolean commands to manipulate these objects because these are regions now. To perform a boolean operation, what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this circle to this rectangle so now it's overlapping. So there's a command called union. You type union, press spacebar, and now select these two objects, press spacebar. So the result is the combined boundary of these two objects. It wouldn't be possible before when we had a rectangle and just and a circle because these objects were not a region object. So there's another command called intersect. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this object a bit down and then I type intersect, enter and select these two objects. Press spacebar. So the result is their common area, the area that they both share. So finally there's another boolean command called subtract. So to do that, I'm going to move this pentagon about here and type subtract on the keyboard, press spacebar. And now in the subtract boolean operation, with subtract command, the order you select the object is very important. You need to select the object you wish to have remain first. So in this case, I would like to pentagon to remain. So I select this pentagon first, press spacebar, and I subtract this object to be subtracted from the pentagon. And I press spacebar again, and the result is so the other object was subtracted from pentagon. So boolean operations allow you to manipulate the regions. It's quite interesting because you can use objects as tools to come up with these complex shapes. Boolean operations are very useful in 3D modeling. So that's it for boolean operations. In the next video I will cover fillet, chamfer and blend commands. So see you guys in the next video. Subscribe to the channel and follow my in-depth training of AutoCAD 2016 Essential. Alright guys, thanks for watching.